Which one of these wolves is you? And we are all excited, crazy. <laughs> it's like stupid music, but I love it. Imagine that this person is sitting across from you. We warm young people up to the idea of role reversal in developmental psychology, the period of individuation. We all have within us a good enough parent. We're using the right brain, the imaginal side of the brain. Hello. Welcome to channel on action explorations. I'm Anna Bobikova. Our topic today is psychodrama with adolescents. Interview with Mario Cosa. Hi, Anna. Nice to see you. New online education alert. If you're studying psychodrama and would like to learn it online with pre-recorded video formats, please check out actionexplorations.education. Watch for detailed announcement at the end of this video. Emma, I want to invite you to return to your time as an adolescent, and I'm going to ask you to think of a very specific time. So far, everything I've talked about has been in a group setting, and the way I'm going to work with you is a way you can use psychodrama with individuals. So I'm going to ask you to imagine a very specific time, and I'm going to ask you a few questions to help you connect to that time. And then we're going to put your social atom of that time, a piece of it, into action through the use of images. Okay. So how old are you right now, Anna? Okay, at adolescent self, I am 16. From now on, all the answers will come from 16-year-old Okay, Anna, yes. But you'll yes. speak in the present tense. So, Anna, can you tell me some of the music that you enjoy listening to? Oh, music. So I have, a, <laughs> it's Russian boys band. They are all, all most of them are, are orphans and they are singing joke and tell that it's like stupid music, but I love it. Great. And where are you living now at 16? I live in Moscow, Soviet Union. And what grade are you in school? At 16? I am about to finish high school. Okay. I'm going to ask you to look at the images from your deck of therapeutic spiral cards and pick a card that can represent 16-year-old Anna, who is willing to take a look at your life and the people in it. So what card will you select? Okay, this is the card. So as you hold that up, one of the things that I'm noticing about this card is a whole group here of beautiful wolves. Which one of these wolves is you? Probably I'm this one. Ah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling that might be you, the one that's looking straight out. So tell me a sentence or two about why you selected this card to be you. I would say that this is me because I'm looking forward. I am curious. I'm young. I'm looking forward to life. I'm excited. All right. So what I just invited you to do, this is, you know, an initial step when we're working with images. I asked you to talk about the image. Step two, I will ask you to become that wolf looking forward in the middle of that picture. So hold the picture up in front of you and speak as if you are that wolf. I see you, Anna, sitting in the middle of like-minded individuals. And the word yeah. underneath is community. From the perspective of this card, if you were the card speaking to me, what would you say about I am Anna and I am? I'm Anna and I am brave and ready to live my life. I'm excited. It looks like many good things are changing in my country, in my society. And we are all excited, crazy. <laughs> I just feel the airflow and excitement. Wonderful. 
And so this is one of the ways that we warm young people up to the idea of role reversal, that you'll notice there is a different feeling and your face was very different when you were talking about why you picked the car and then when you became the car and started speaking from it, all of a sudden uh, we're engaging the imaginal part of the brain. When we speak about, we're using the rational part of the brain, the left brain. When we speak as, we're using the right brain, the imaginal side of the brain. So we're engaging your full intellect and imagination through having you roll reverse with this image. Now, there's also a reason why I asked you to use one of these animal cards for you, and I asked you to use my deck of mask cards to represent your friends. This is a little aside that I wouldn't necessarily say to you as a client, but for the purposes of this interview, I would say, during adolescence, about 16, there is a period that used to be called in developmental psychology, the period of individuation, where people become, as my friend's doctoral dissertation talked about, become authentically themselves. However, it's also true that in the past, there was a separation of expectation for young men and young women. And there was a psychologist called Jean Baker Miller, who was one of the founders of feminist psychology. We asked young men to separate and individuate. And we asked young women to hold relationships. And there were different role expectations. So, you know, if you're a girl, you're in charge of relationship. If you're a boy, you have to become who you are. And she said, mm, I don't think so. I think the real task here is to move toward more mature relationship. I went to a conference once where she was a speaker. And in five minutes, I learned more from her than at the whole conference. Just this concept of moving toward more mature relationship. In this activity, I asked you to pick a different card from the ones you're using for the rest of the people in your life to allow you to create a space that is uniquely yours. Even though you're in relationship, there's other images, there's other wolves as part of this community, when we start looking at the other people in your life, their images are going to be very different. So the card that's holding you is unique. So this is an invitation for you to be in relationship to others, but also to be looking at who you are apart from the others. And that's one of the developmental challenges of adolescence. Certainly from the time people are 12, 13, 14, where there's really almost a herd mentality to the time when they're 15, 16, 17, where they develop their individual identities and their way of encountering the world that is less based on social expectation and more based on their inner set of values. I'm going to ask you to look at the other deck of cards I gave you, which is a deck of masks and statues from Indonesia, I know you've picked a number of the images to represent the people in your life at age 16. For the purpose of this demonstration, from those images that you picked, I'm going to ask you to pick two, one of them being someone with whom you have a relationship that you feel is really mutually supportive, that they support you, you support them, the relationship is fairly strong and intact, and one that represents a relationship that might have some conflict or difficulty. All right, so can you tell me or show me first the person with whom you feel supported? Okay, person whom I feel supported is image number 44. <laughs> I don't know, for some reasons I picked up. Okay, this is the one. Okay, so this one. Yes. All right, so I'm going to hold this card up and I want you to look at it and imagine that this person is sitting across from you and tell, is this a, a 
A male or a female? This is female. A female. So what is her name? Uh, the same name like I have, Anna. In Russian, it's Anya. So tell Anya how she is important in your life, how she supports you. Well, uh, Anya, I have such a great time with you. You are just your good friend and you're just uh, all the time with me and you are listening to my problems. You are always, no matter what happens, you are always supporting me. Okay, great. So now I'm going to ask you to hold up the card in front of you and become Anya. So now you are Anya. And Anya, Anna just shared with you how you are a really good friend to her and how she is feels supported by you and enjoys being your friend. What would you like to say to her in this moment? How do you see her? I am older than my friend Anya. It kind of sounds like fun to have all this friendship and everything but somewhere deeply inside it feels for me that some important parts are missing well there may be a, an opportunity in just a moment to explore that a little further you are certainly an important person in anna's life and in a moment we're going to ask for for you to have a conversation with anna about some of the other people that she is dealing with right now and perhaps the experience that you've got of being a little older might be able to be helpful for her or there may be some questions that you have for her that will help lead her to understand herself better in the course if we were doing this not as a demonstration but as part of an actual session we would take longer. We would take longer to get you into the role of the other, and we would do some back and forth yep. to establish the relationship. All right? Now pick the image of one of the people with whom there is some struggle or some conflict. So I'm picking up the image of I have problems with. I think I have problems with my mother. Okay, and which card could be your mother? My mother is image 25, and let me open it up. All right, so I'm going to hold this card up, and you imagine that your mother is sitting here looking at you, and know that in psychodrama, we get to say some things that maybe we would never say in real life, and that can try out things and determine whether we feel it would be appropriate to say in real life or not. But it's also true that sometimes, even when we have conflict with people, it's important to acknowledge the ways in which they have positive influence in your life. So if your mom was sitting there facing you as you look at this image, what are a couple of things you might say to her about how she has been a positive influence in your life. <laughs> it's like, oh, mom, you, you have positive influence on me by being brave. And I know that you act like a brave person. And I think that helped me. <laughs> Not too much of energy in that. That can be enough, all right? So again, a little aside. Sometimes, if there is a lot of positive connection to the person in conflict, I might do a role reversal. But given that there seems to be the need for distancing, I'm not yeah. going to ask you to role reverse with her, at least not right now. So I'm going to ask, even if you couldn't say this to your mother in real life, what do you wish you could say to her about the kinds of conflict that exist between the two of you? Well, my mom, you are not present in my life and uh, you just left me and uh, it's definitely, I have a huge distance with you. You are not in my life and many kids have mothers and I like, I have just a name mother, but my mother, I, I don't talk to you for years. Not happy about that. All right, so again, if this were an actual session rather than a demonstration, 
I would spend some time with that. I would ask you to say at what age she left, what were your feelings then, what are your feelings now? Moreno talked about social atom repair, about how to deal with the parts of our social atom that are not giving us all that we might want. In this case, it's not about someone who is physically present in your life that you want to develop a different relationship with, but it's as a 16-year-old, how can you create that sense of connection to your own developing sense of yourself as the mother part of yourself. Whether you become an actual mother or not is irrelevant, but we all have within us a good enough parent, even if, and we want to develop that role. So what we're going to do for the last part of this demonstration is you're going to ask Anna, interestingly, a little bit older than you, you're going to ask Anna if she has any suggestions for you about how you can move through the empty places that you might feel because of your mother not being part of your life or whatever the right thing is. I'm, I'm putting words into your mouth. Those are not necessarily your words. So imagine I'm going to hold up the card for Anya again so you can see it. So imagine Anya is sitting there with you. And what can you say to Anya about absence of your mother and what kind of advice or suggestion you might want from her in, in getting to a place of greater understanding or strength around the absence of this relationship with your mother? I'm wondering if you could have the ideas, what is the way for me to move forward in this situation with my parents, with my mother and... All right, and again, the difference between a real session where we would explore that more fully. Right now, I'm more interested in demonstrating the choreography of the role reversal yeah. and yeah. how we use the images uh, when we don't have other people. If we, if we were in a group setting, you would select somebody, you know, I pick Kate to play Anya. And then you would yeah. have this conversation with Kate. But since there aren't any people here, we can still do the role reversal by using the images. So now I'm going to ask you to go back into the role of Anya. First of all, thank you for being part of uh, this drama that Anna is doing. And thank you for sharing with me that you're a few years older than Anna. She's coming to you now with a question about, she's at a, an important place in her life where she's becoming an adult. She's becoming a woman. She's not a little girl anymore. She's in that place of transition that you've gone through just a few years ago and perhaps are still going through. And she's asking, do you have any advice for her about how she can deal with, process, make sense of this relationship, this absent relationship with her mother. So what might you say to her in this moment? I would never say it in the reality, and I am saying just in between us, my dear friend, I would suggest you to stop communicating to me and all your friends and find good adult support. You need support to survive and to live normal good life. You need good support. And honestly, I don't think that I'm that great of support for you. Thank you for that really candid and honest answer, Anya. And I think what you've just said to Anna is very, very important. And even if you might not say that to her in real life, in psychodrama, she might need to hear that because in psychodrama, she gets to decide if she wants to accept that advice or not. She doesn't have to argue with you. So now I'm going to ask you to go back to being yourself, your 16-year-old self. Okay. And so the, the final piece of this little interaction would be you get to hear 
from Anya. Normally, a psychodrama director does not take on roles in a psychodrama. That's why we use other group members. But some, when we're using images, come the voice of the card rather than you seeing me. All right, so Anya is saying to you, Anna, it's not easy for me to say this to you because I know you look to me for support. But at this point in your life, it's really important for you to find other adults who can be the kind of support that you need as a young woman on your journey. I know that you look to me for a lot of support, but I'm not sure that I can always be the support you need. So I want to encourage you to reach outside of your circle of friends and see who else might be available, what other adults might be available that can give you the kind of support that you need and that you deserve. And then I would let you have a moment again as yourself. So 16 year old Anna, do you have any thoughts or reflections or any final comment that you want to make to Anya having heard that from her? It's exactly what I need. It's exactly what I need. Research has shown that people your age need at least three adult figures other than family members to provide support and encouragement. If you'd like to learn psychodrama online from leading trainers affordably and at your own pace, go to actionexplorations.education. This is my project to expand access to the best trainers in the world. It's my baby. We are working with the leading psychodrama trainers to present pre-recorded programs. The programs will include lecture, cases, and evaluations. There will be a large selection of action exploration subjects. I'm going to add from five to 10 modules per month, so the content will be very rich. Namaste. If you are interested in learning more about work with adolescents, we are going to record with Mario the full course on that topic. It should be on Action Explorations Education in spring 2020.